Good morning, we're in Barberville, Florida. We're going to the historic Barberville Pioneer Settlement. What's ahead for us? We are greeted here by this fine fellow. <laughs> so there are 22 structures in this Pioneer Settlement. That's a walking type of an adventure. I'm gonna go from building to building and check it out. This is one more of those places that uh, we would not have found unless we were just driving around at one point and when we were driving over to Ocala last week came across this place. For a point of reference this is about six miles up the road from where we go to get pancakes at the old Spanish mill or the old Spanish sugar mill rather at De Leon Springs um, but we actually went there this morning we wanted to get our pancakes on um, but the wait was at least 90 minutes long so we're here first building that you encounter is the barn. So this barn was erected in 1986. Oh, there's another kitty cat that's come in here. Saying hello? Hi. Hello. <laughs> Meow? What can you tell us about this place? Yikes. This is something that horror movies are made out of. <laughs> syrup kettle. A syrup kettle. It was in 1978. Oh, look at those goats. <laughs> oh my goodness. How are you doing? How are you? Just watch your step. <laughs> what can you tell us about you? Hello, goat. Oh my God. Hi. Is anybody throwing a football to you lately? <laughs> Goat vision. <laughs> the cat Ooh. Was hey, that's a pretty cool way to scratch your back. <laughs> I know. I wish I had those. All right, Mr. Goat. You're not very talkative now. Oh my God! Look at him. Buck, 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 buck. Look at that guy in the middle. You got some crazy hair, dude. Whoa. That's so funny. Look at this one. Hey. hey. Oh, here comes the other crazy aircraft. <laughs> you guys got something to say? <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. You're a big guy. And there's peacocks back there too. Barn, quarters, log cabin. Whoa. This is pretty cool. Then we have the firehouse over here. The fire museum. Oh, this was originally the uh, blacksmith shop. Wow. 1933. This is a turpentine still. And these are the blacksmiths. They actually do have like blacksmith classes and blacksmiths on site often here. I think it's like a weekly thing. So these are used often. Coming in here. Check out this giant vice. This is the post office. I 
I love this thing. It's like the one in near us. This was in service until 1953. That is super creepy in there. <laughs> Wanted dead or alive, the wild bunch. This is the Methodist Church. This is the Quarters House. Oh, this was this house was moved from New Smyrna Beach in 1997. It was built in 1920. Okay. Comfy. Wow. Then you can go around the other side and see the other side. Coming up on the back side of the house. So you have a stove over here. And turn to this side. This is the back door. A tiny bed. Had to be some tiny people. <laughs> Behind the house is a board splitting area. And to the right of that. In between the house, this is a convict cage wagon. They transport prisoners in this. We're coming up on the print shop. Hand printed letterpress cards. side of that is the carriage barn. Look at this. It's like when you see in the movies. Yeah. This wagon is used to transport kids to school. That is hilarious. And here they have wagon wheels. None that I can see that are made out of cheese, though. Here's the Cooper shop. All the woodworking. Oh my god. I just saw that word, and I brought me... I need <laughs> TP for my bunghole. <laughs> Here's the tools. You cannot tell me that this whole Pioneer Settlement wouldn't make for an amazing horror movie. Oh my god. Here's the Pearson Railroad Building. Whoa. That car is pretty awesome. Well, you can go in the car too. I don't imagine they had a TV back in the day. Oh, we found the wild Jess in the train car. The caboose is open. Ooh, it's TMI. Seats up here. Look, listen, live. Here's the model railroad. Very warm in these buildings. Oh, it's a model of Dillion Springs. There's the land. They have some historical photographs of areas that are completely built over now, like Lake Helen, the land, Orange City, and then route maps. Signal flares. Oh, I love these badges. And a railroad punch. An actual outfit for Walter Peterson. Traveling cases. And the code of rules. You need rules. I'm going to use Morse code.
We're gonna go in the real pottery barn. <laughs> Actually, it's just it's a pottery shed. This is another area that is actively used. Oh, look at that. Right, we skipped over this before, but we're going to go into the church. This was established in 1872. One piano, you have an organ, you have another organ. This is so cool. The book on the altar, open at the gospel and the call. We've got some old hymnals. And this one's open up to what a friend we have in Jesus. And by the way, you can get married here. I can come up to the country store. You can get a bottle of Coca-Cola out of the ice box. I'm letting Mary stay at the country store because there's all kinds of bees over there. Fearless danger, soft sand. And we gotta cross the street and we're walking down this long path to the historic Joseph Underhill house. I'm seriously waiting for Leatherface to just jump out from somewhere over here. <laughs> wow. Huge. That's a house I want to live in. This is pretty awesome. Cool. And you can't go in the house. No, well, you but can. we can see it. It says you have to sit on it, so maybe there's another entrance on the other side. There's another view in Hi. from the back porch. And here's another room, everything's covered up. Very reminiscent of a horror movie. As we start to make the long walk back towards the beginning, Mary was pointing out, because you imagine living here with no air conditioning, just with these wooden buildings. It had to have been absolutely oppressive. And then you think about the running water and waste situation here in the 1800s. Coupled with the heat, it had to be absolutely got awful and with the livestock and everything oh yeah uh -uh. the last building that we have to visit is the town's high school here we go we can go inside the teacher is letting us in whoa to add to the creepiness factor it's nice and air conditioner here by the way wow there's a paddle Sign says, "Don't pull the rope to ring the bell." That's funny. This is one of the schoolrooms. I love the dunce cap. Don't touch. Florida's State Teachers Association, 1897. This is the weaving room. <laughs> some corn, some eggs. Do not turn. The phonograph in there. There's like a cobbler stand. You see that foot? No, look at my yeah, foot. Yeah, I mean, look at how small the shoes were. But look at my foot. Frickin'. Yeah, it's gigantic. It's the carpenter's nippers. Thank you. We're gonna go in the candle room. Oh, look at this old kayak. This is similar to what we just saw last week on the floor at Silver Springs in the water. It was there for like 400 years, and there you go. 600 to 800 year old 10 man canoe. Yeah, she doesn't like that. Some beehive stuff. 
Candles. Candles, candles, candles. Here's some models. General store. So, we can do a flyover. This the blacksmith. Hmm. This room is the auditorium, so you can put all these chairs in here and have events. Get some time period watches. The clocks. <laughs> Ooh, look at the orange. Orange you glad we showed you this display? Not only was it crazy hot out here, but look at what these guys were wearing at that time. <laughs> oh my god. And like this too. You gotta be kidding me. Here's our last parting look. As you might be able to hear some goats in the background. Mm. That does it for us from the Pioneer Settlement in Barberville. If you guys are interested in checking this out for yourselves, I think it was like eight bucks a person to get in, but it's seven dollars for like kids and seven dollars for seniors, four dollars. Seniors. Oh four dollars for kids, just to say. And seven dollars for seniors, seven dollars for uh, military also. So we're out. Uh, hmm. Alright, that's going to do it from the Pioneer Settlement. It's actually a day later. Change the shirt, change the hat. Uh, we are heading over to another fun adventure um, for Sunday. But for Saturday, we're done. So thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes and your comments and your subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night or day. We'll see you guys.